Sam won one and we left it late. But what are your initial thoughts on Marine One Oxford City One? Listen, I've just said to the boys in there, um, it wasn't ideal in terms of uh, second half performance, but they've shown um, grit, determination. They've stuck in it till the end, and they've they've reaped their rewards. You know, for a, a lot of good opportunities that we made and created in the first half that we probably should have capitalised on. Um, I thought we was unfortunate to go in um, at half time at one nil down. Um, so, you know, huge credit to the boys, even not playing at their best. Um, by no way necessary was that. You know, the standard that we require and you know what's going to enable us to be competitive this year. But by me, in terms of you know, grit and sticking with it and team spirit, morale, all those things, you know, we've, we've, we've seen that. It's clear clear to see that the boys have got that in abundance. So, um, you know, we go back, we reassess, but, you know, we take a lot of positives. From it. It's probably one of the more difficult tests on the opening day out of the teams in National League North. The mood here was buoyant. They were up for it. They were a very good team. They were tough. They had that low block. Yeah. Um, we had a lot of the ball. To come away with a point after all that is a really positive thing, isn't it? Yeah, listen, um, we know that teams this season are going to try and um, stop us from doing what we do. Um, that, that, that's football. Um, so, you know, huge credit to Marine. Obviously, they're a side that got promoted last season. They've got, again, that spirit in abundance. You know, you've got a, a group of fans that are well behind their team. And, you know, it was, it was a tough, tough place to come to. And I'm sure there will be teams here that come away with a lot less. So, again, like I say, huge credit to the boys for sticking in it with by no way, you know, not playing to the standards that we require. But, you know, we take the point and we move, we reassess and uh, we look forward to next Saturday. When we got that corner right in the last minute of added time, what are you thinking on the touchline? <laughs> I was thinking, God, this, this better go in. Um, I was thinking, just get the first contact on the ball. And, you know, I've, I've been speaking to Brad during the week and to be fair to him, he's, he's got inside the back stick and, you know, that's a big thing for Brad. You know, he's, he's a young man that's learning his trade. Um, obviously coming off the back of commentary and now um, having to fend for himself at this level. Um, he knows he has to man up and you know some of the detail and, and stuff that we're asking him to do. He's got to take a lot of info on quite early and you know fantastic, really proud and pleased for him that um, he got the equaliser in at the back stick like we've been telling him. So you know a lot of learning to do um, in general as a collective but uh, oh, it's just uh, bloody grateful that <laughs> went in to be honest. But also it, that will get the, the headlines if you like but yeah. At the back, Kai McKenzie Lyles made an absolutely super stop to, to keep it at 1 0. Ultimately, when you look back, that's, that's also, also got us a, probably got us a point. Yeah, you know, you, you, you probably don't think of the, those moments in the emotion of the game when you think of the end, but I mean, could have done more, but you know, they have had the opportunity to you know, extend the lead, and you know, Kai's, Kai's made a fantastic save, and that's what he's there to do. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's been brought in for a reason, not only. Um, is he a fantastic shot stopper, but you know, playing out like we saw in the throughout pre-season, you know, Kai's, Kai's the source and the start and foundation of everything that we want to do. So, uh, yeah, the, the, my biggest thing for me, um, especially this season, but in general, we must have the right intent and setting the intent going forward is in playing in our style, playing the Oxford way, and um, yeah, we're going to go back and reassess and make sure uh, we get things right. First game done. It's a work in progress, but it seems like you've got a lot of food for thought. Yeah, of course. Um, and like I've alluded to many a time, this is not going to be overnight. You know, me and you spoke, and uh, you know this this is going to be a process. Um, but the pleasing thing today, we've seen that the you know, boys try and to do the right things. But you look at first balls, second balls, 50-50s, um, sticking it until the end. Those are the ingredients of what any successful team need to have, especially when the chips are down and things aren't quite going the way that you want them to. Um, so if we can keep improving, uh, keep going the right direction, then um, I have no doubt that we'll get it right. Final word for me, or final question rather, the fans from Oxford City, about 30 or so, making a long journey up, yeah. we'll have plenty of them this season. Yeah. They had something to go back with, to be happy about. They were yeah. going absolutely mental behind that goal. Yeah, as well. I'm, I'm so pleased, um, more than anything, that those 30, you know, whoever came down would come to support us. Um, they had something to cheer about at the end. And, you know, everybody loves a, a last minute, a last minute goal equaliser or a winner, and you know it was right down that end as well. So we're very grateful for that and very grateful for their support. Um, you know, we, we need to repay them going forward and, and, and continue uh, trying to work and push in the right direction. So yeah, very pleased. Um, very pleased for the support and yeah, we keep moving. Sam, thanks very much for your time. Cheers, Gary. Thank you.